Do you need a home entertainment projector for a bright room to watch movies, sports and play games? BenQ thinks they have the perfect answer and introduces the TK860i to the market, but is it any good? Hello and welcome to another video on AV Forums. I'm Phil Hinton, the site editor, and I'm a fully trained ISF and THX calibrator with 20 years of experience. In this video, we're going to take a look at the BenQ TK860i DLP projector. The BenQ is a home entertainment projector marketed as an all-rounder for movies, gaming and sports on the big screen. It is a 0.47 inch single chip DLP bulb projector that uses XPR technology with quadruple flash pixel shift, which creates a perception of 8.3 million pixels on the screen. It uses a high precision 10 element 8 group lens array and is designed for use in normal white painted living rooms with little light control. It is highly portable and users are encouraged to use the auto setup features to get it up and running with big screen gaming around your mate's house or summer evening movie watching against a white screen on the side of a garden fence or the house. It uses the same chassis design as most of the BenQ home entertainment models with the lens positioned to the right hand side when looking from the front and with a sliding door hiding the lens shift, focus and zoom rings. Around the back of the TK860i are the speakers behind a grille and the connections are positioned in the central area. Connections wise we have a 12 volt trigger, an RS232 control port, a service port, a USB media reader port, 3.5mm and digital audio outputs, three HDMI 2.0 ports with ARC on HDMI 2 and a USB power port. As it's designed for gaming and sports ahead of movie watching, the key feature is the frame interpolation system and other image enhancement features such as 4K pixel and motion enhancer, as well as the dynamic iris and dynamic black software. As the i model, the T860i, ships with the QS02 Android TV dongle that's connected to the projector under the top plate, which you unscrew to fit the dongle to a mini HDMI input and USB micro B power source. This gives you access to Netflix and other major apps including the Google Play Store. You can also wirelessly cast content to the projector, use Google Voice Assistant and the remote control also works with the projector. Like most modern projectors, the TK860i supports HDR10 and HLG Hybrid Log Gamma high dynamic range formats and it can play them back, but this is not an HDR projector. Obviously, as we all know, projectors really struggle to produce HDR images due to the lack of contrast and dynamic range available given it's a reflective display technology. A projector will never match a direct view device such as an OLED TV for dynamic range or contrast and as such HDR is almost impossible to reproduce on a projector. The T860i does try to produce an image that is slightly more dynamic than the SDR performance with some extra colour over the Rec 709 gamut and while it's not very bright the HDR Pro tone mapping employed does try to match HDR content to the capabilities of this projector. We go into the picture quality measurements and detail within the written review at AV Forum. So if you want to pixel peep further, we suggest that you head over there and read it now. The TK860i is marketed as a home entertainment model for sports and gaming fun on a big screen, but that doesn't mean it can't be used to watch movies. However, the performance with movie content is not as good as the dedicated W2710i model with the extra brightness for normal room use lifting the black floor of the T860i so blacks tend to look a little bit more washed out and have a lighter tone of grey in comparison. Out of the box performance for grayscale and colour was also not nearly as accurate and there's no factory calibration or filmmaker mode with the TK860. But even with all that the TK860i still does manage to give a good account of itself with movie content if you can overlook the slight issues that we've mentioned and Let's face it, most users at this market position will do just that for the immersive impact that's on offer. Blacks are a little bit crushed in mixed light scenes, but there's also some shadow detail on show, which does add a little bit of depth to the image. 
Used as intended, the lack of deep blacks is probably not an issue overall, but managing expectations, they are a dark grey tone with no detail visible in the darkest of the shadows. The video processing is good with decent upscaling to HD content, and motion is also very good for 24 frames per second material, with the correct pull down applied, and even 50 hertz broadcast looks good, with just the occasional frame skip seen with tricky fast edits. BenQ has been very clever at the £1,700 price point in offering movie fans the W2710i, which does movie playback very well with great accuracy. And then with this, the TK860i, they give you a home entertainment model with extra brightness for bright room viewing, gaming, sports and occasional movies. Overall, the TK860i is a very good multi-use projector suited to normal viewing rooms and environments, and it adds some decent features like frame interpolation for those who want to watch sports. Android TV is there for streaming apps, and a dynamic iris improves the contrast performance. It's still not a home cinema model for critical movie viewing, but it does offer good image quality out of the box and very good accuracy when calibrated with SDR content. Gaming features are also good, and much improved over the outgoing TK850 model with the input lag measuring in at 17.7 milliseconds. At this price point, BenQ is giving you the choice of projector, and if it's a multi-use bright machine that you're looking for, we suggest you get a demo of the TK860 as it comes recommended for that use case. If you've enjoyed this review, then please do leave us a like, and if you want to see more projector reviews from AV Forums, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.